Right, on to part three, which is pretty much the aluminium body that we've got here. So I'm going to give you all the measurements for everything, uh, like somewhere during the video. So don't worry, don't be too worried. But the main thing is, it's going to be hard for you guys, whoever wants to make it, because I got mine uh, from scrap, which just so happens to look cool. Uh, this is just aluminium from a cube office cubicle that that Tom was taking apart. Basically, I'll show you right now. This bit is the main the main body part, but I'll show you just now. So what happened was, it starts here, goes all the way along here, and then it bends downwards. And because aluminium, once you bend it, it's very weak at that point. Well, I didn't want uh, the handle laying on this bend part. So what I did was, it goes all the way down here, down here, I bent it down just because miniguns have that section at the back of the barrel. So just for, for it to look more realistic, I did that bend. And then, I take a shorter bit, and I basically bolt it on here, allowing for the handle to, to not be on a weak spot. So yeah, just for aesthetics, I bent that piece there, and that's all one bit, along with the bend. Then we've got this part, which is this this plate right here. So all it is is this part is there. That's the main. So this is the main one. That's that. This bends somewhere here, wherever you like. And then you've got these aesthetic pieces that go on. And also they give it stability, so that's good. And then so I'll I'll measure everything out. I'll prepare it all and then I'll come back and you guys will see it all. And you'll need also this 100mm pipe brackets, whatever whatever they're called, I don't even know. So yeah, let me just think if I explain that right. Yeah, you'll see when I prepare it. The only, the only big thing is, uh, I'll be using these bolts. So what, what basically happens is, this goes around the main pipe, I'm going to drill bigger holes here to accommodate these bolts. And then what you do is to, to squish this together and give it a tight grip on the pipe, I've got the bolt through the through this piece, through this. So I had to drill a hole and then actually cut away the uh, aluminium so that I can actually get a wrench in there. And then basically you've got the bolt, a nylon nut, and then two nuts in the middle, which when you tighten them together, they close this over the pipe. And that's basically how it's mounted. So basically what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna cut this to size, give you guys the measurements on screen, and then we'll go from there and I'll show you what. But um, yeah, I'm not, I shouldn't really actually show in detail like I'll show everything in detail as much as I can, but this is going to be different in your case because you guys might use something different. I'll, or I'll just make sure to give you this width, and yeah, just keep in mind when you do get a piece of metal, whenever the aluminium has uh, 90 degrees, like a equal angles, it gives it extra strength because aluminium isn't very strong, but. In this shape, it is very strong. All right, I'm going to. I'm going to. I'm not going to put it all together. I'll cut the pieces and then put it together on camera. I think that's going to be the best way to do it. All right. I just finished cutting up all all the metal and drilling it and everything, and this is basically what I'm finished with. So this is the front plate, I cut the holes out for this handle and basically I'll move on to the handle I'll show you. The handle is two 45 degree elbows, this is a 25mm pipe and basically the reason I use 45 degrees is because it looks, it gives it a graduate turn and yeah, the, you can use a normal elbow but I like this look. So basically it's just bits of pipe 
you just glue that all together. And the way it mounts on this is you, you put it through the two holes. All right. You put a bit of glue, and then you put these caps on. And what you're finished with is this nice, clean-looking handle system. So you don't have any. I'm gonna have to actually cut down that pipe, that pipe a bit more because just so I can push the cap in more. But yeah, and then what I'd also do at the end is put a rivet, one rivet on each, so four rivets all together. And then that is the front part. So we've got that together. And then I've got these bolts. You can use pretty much any um, size belt as long as it's not too thin, as you can see. So. I've got my holes already drilled. I'll just put that on the front there. You guys might well, might be using different pieces of metal and different stuff, so. so I've got that. Just so that. That's on. Obviously I'll tighten it later. Don't need to tighten it now. Now here's the plate, this plate right here, where you mount the handle. And Pretty much the same kind of. I only put two bolts on mine, but this one, as you can see, there's two squares here on this one, two squares here on that one, one on that one, and then this piece is obviously a different piece. So it's got one square for, there's actually a square cut out here, which is that one, because the handle goes on top and the wiring comes through there. And then we've got the two extra holes, just to be a bit different than the other mini gun. already drilled my holes in this because they, they're free, they've got a certain bolt you need to use so you're going to have to tell this. Use a vise when you're drilling these because they like to, when I was doing these ones I wasn't using a vise and the drill just gets caught and all this gets twisted and it's just frustrating. Alright so we put this, i got to figure this out now. We put this bolt through the hole. Hopefully none of this metal is in the way, I didn't actually check it. So I put this bolt through the hole, I tied in this one all the way, then I put the first stage, first part on, this is actually trickier, I remember now, this is a, a bit tricky. So I'll try and make it so you guys can see. And then I put the next one on, and then I put the next nut on. And that basically gives me a, so you've got to have the bolt, then the nut, and then the this in between the two nuts. So just keep that in mind. I just tighten this. So it comes outside. One pipe, pipe thing in. I'm actually gonna have to cut a, cut two grooves so this one straightens out a bit more. So that's right, I'll do that. And then the next one is the same kind of thing. And then after we've done this, you can put that aside because pretty much 
you just take what we made in part two, slide it in, put the caps on, right? And then you just tighten it where, where you feel it's centered. So after, we, so that's that. Right. Now for the drill part of this part. Now I've already taken this part, but um, I'll just show you. So this is what I'm going to be working with, this drill in particular. And this isn't as uh, scary as it seems, this part. Basically, my drill came with this little screen and it was plugged in here, but I'm not going to put it back. But if your drill has some kind of a screen like that, make sure it still works when you take off that screen. Because you don't want stuff to be on the drill that takes uh, power because you're going to be using this all day, spinning it up. And I mean, two batteries lasted me for for all day when we went to the last convention and that was alright so yeah we don't need this or I don't need this at least and basically yeah so let's start with this we've got this which selects which direction and we've got this this thing up here that changes the speed now you want to keep both of these things so as you can see from this from this view you're gonna want this bolt here and this bolt here but you're going to want to keep this, where the screw screws in, on the handle. Because you, you're going to want these two pieces together. And this will be inside a pipe anyway. But we want to keep this housing so that you can change the switching, the switches later. Right. So, basically when you look at this thing, we've got two terminals for the battery. Right. And we've got two cables for the motor. Now when you're working with this, you're going to want to mark what is what and keep track of it. So one's negative, one's positive. And you're going to want to make sure that you don't mix them up. So pretty much, in my one, I have the handle here. I have two cables coming from these terminals, running to the battery, and then I've got two cables coming from the motor, running to the, to the switch way it did. So there's nothing we're really changing, we're just extending the cables and and reconnecting them. And as far as hooking the battery up to the cables, what I'll be looking at doing is I'll be drilling a small hole in in each one of not the not the rear terminal, that's for charging. You don't really have to worry about that. But these two terminals, that's positive and negative and I'm just gonna drill a hole and when you go to put it on, you're just gonna like put alligator clips from the minigun onto the battery, and that's how it'll hold it. Because we don't want to do anything permanent here, because you're gonna want to recharge this, this thing. All right, so that's pretty much it. I'll take photos so you can see where I cut and how I cut, and then you'll see the rest. Okay, so I've cut everything up, I've test fitted into, into this pipe, and as you can see, I'm about to start soldering. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to solder these cables back to this, but I'm going to make it longer. And then same deal with this, except this drill had something cool that the other drill didn't. What I can actually do is... I can take one set of cables, I already transferred this plug, and I can just pretty much put the plug back, maybe do a bit of soldering, and then run it to the battery. So it's not like I have to you know, drill a hole and solder like I did before, but that's alright. So yeah, now we've got the motor, we've got the battery, and we're just extending the cables. And then after we've done that, I'm going to then mount it where it's supposed to be mounted. And this is going to be easier than my minigun when it came to mounting. My minigun was a bit of a nightmare. But this is actually going to turn out very nice. Because I actually cut the bottom off my minigun without thinking. I mean, I cut the bottom of the drill. 
but this time I'm, I'm keeping it. I'm going to use a base for screwing it onto the minigun. So it's going to be easier. Alright, I'll get to joining the cables. I'm going to put it all together and pretty much that's it. So, just the next part is going to be attaching this handle to that plate, which is pretty easy. I'm either going to drill two holes, put washers and just bolt it on like that, or I'll figure out what I'm going to do. So I had a bit of trouble fitting in this big drill. I was I shaved it down as much as possible and I ended up having to cut it, zip tie. I'll just, you know, you can always cover that up, but it doesn't, doesn't really matter. I've, I kept this uh, speed thing visible so you can change the speed. It'll be on low speed anyway because the drill is pretty fast. And uh, in here, I've got alligator. Uh, what are they called? Alligator clips. And basically, if you look, it says negative and positive. If I put the negative and positive, and then I put it in back inside of its compartment, and works. So yeah, I've attached these things that make it look pretty. I haven't tightened this up yet because I'm going to do a little bit more. I'm going to add in something special. I'm not going to say what yet. But yeah, that's pretty much it. And uh, also, what I will be doing is I'll be putting a metal pipe down the inside of the barrel that we made in part one because if you don't put a metal pipe on the inside, it's just going to break because the power of the motor and the weight of the barrel will just break each other eventually. I actually figured that out the hard way when making my one. It didn't, uh, I managed to catch it, but yeah, that wasn't uh, a good feeling. Alright, so remember from the trigger, you've got two spots that go to the battery and two spots that go to the motor. And the way you mount your drill, because you're going to have a different size drill if you're going to be making this, you're going to have to figure out that, but I showed you the rest in, in the previous part. And then that's pretty much it, I'll, we'll move on to, to putting the barrel in and attaching this, and then after that it's just paint. Let me just think if I'm missing anything. No. That's pretty much it. You can add a kill switch up here if you like, like my one. I probably won't be adding that on this one. Or yeah, I might. We'll see. Alright, so that's pretty much it. They look pretty identical. This one's a little bit different though. I went for a little bit different. I didn't want them to be identical. This one's got a real nice fitting handle. My one all right uh, if you have any questions or if I missed anything just let me know and I'll explain but it's pretty straightforward when when you're just making the cables longer you're not changing anything around and yeah that's it all right as you can see I've had some added some finishing touches I've wired it all up I just drilled two holes to attach this and then I'll glue it at the back that should be strong enough. I'm just about to start painting. And yeah.